Yes, this is the 24 inch Casa Grain Nasmut telescope. And uh, I use uh, two motors and one control box from the AWR company to control the telescope remotely. Okay, we can take a closer look. Actually, this telescope I was using to discover a supernova in 1999, the first supernova from Norway, which was discovered by me. Lucky me. Okay, we take a closer look. Yes, this is an uh, this is the ST7 CCD camera I try on this telescope. It is, uh, it's an old but very good camera, I think. And this, this is the control box which uh, controls the motors in rectization and declination. And here, here is the here is the motor for declination, and of course here's the motor for the rectus sensation. And this is the warm, warm, yes, warm gear system. Yes, and of course this box. There is an uh, uh, ordinary internet cable from this box going to my computer room, which uh, then is connected to an intelligent headset, handset, intelligent handset, I guess it's called. Okay, so I go inside. And we can have a look at at the we can have a look at the control room and computer system. Okay. Yes, I forgot to mention that my initial position of the telescope is uh, towards zenith, and of course I initiate the telescope by going to a known star, for example, Vega in Lyra. Okay, now we can go back to the computer room. So here is the computer controlling the telescope. It is a nice Dell computer. And, and uh, it is first it is using the intelligent handset hand handset mm -hmm. it looks like this and there is one wire from the control box outside and the second wire here is going to the computer that is just an RS-232 cable connecting to the nine nine pins port on the computer what is what, what I can do with this is that I can use the sky six to to control the telescope so I just click on telescope link establish okay so now I can send the telescope to a uh, known star or I can I can choose this one Mess Messier 92 or I can use a I use a star there is a nice star that is Vega ah, I choose a close star this one confirm slew so 
the telescope is slewing to this star. Of course, the star it, it will not uh, uh, it will not hit the star. So I have to go outside and and uh, adjust the telescope exactly on this star. After that, I can use this uh, go to controls says control computer and uh, observe and take picture of whatever I want. Okay, beep beep, then it's gone. And here, this is CCD soft. I use this to 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 take picture with the ST7. I say connect. Oh, yes. And I set temperature to minus thirty five. Okay. And uh, then I can uh, take a picture. Well, I think that this it will go in saturation because it is day daytime outside. I anyway, I take a picture. Downloading. Okay, it went uh, completely white as I expected. Also, I have this program, CCD Commander, and then I can uh, run a automatic. Uh, then I can run the telescope automatically. I just put put in a list of uh, of objects. For example, okay, I choose this one. Okay, and if I start. If I click on the start now, the telescope will go to the first object and take an image, and then go to the next next object and take an image. And it can go so automatically the whole night. Okay. In the in the next uh, video, we will see how I how this wiring is from the intelligent handset to the computer. So I have uh, measured this cable and I will show you how the wiring is. Okay. Thank you.